How do you catch diabetes? All right, so check this out. Every time I'm out or every time I see people eating and someone's eating a lot of sugary foods or something like that, uh, a lot of carb, high carb foods, you know, or especially on Facebook, you know, Instagram or whatever, somebody always saying, you know, if you eat this, they show a big old burger, right? And it's like, if you eat that, you're gonna get diabetes. And if you, you eat all, you know, you eat, um, if you're eating donuts, you're gonna get a uh, diabetes. And you know, you get a lot of people saying that. Let me, let me tell y'all a little secret uh, uh, and some information about diabetes that I think most people don't understand. Diabetes, you don't catch diabetes, it's not a cold. You don't, you can't just go out and decide, you know, or do something like that and catch diabetes. And I know many of you guys are going to want to argue that, but I challenge you to go look up the information that you're going to discover that you're totally incorrect. When I came down with diabetes, I thought I caught diabetes. When I spoke to my doctor, my doctor explained to me, and I also did the research to confirm this, but the fact is diabetes is genetic, okay? This is why they, they say like, you know, in the, in the darker skin colored community that we have a higher uh, susceptibility to it because it's genetic, okay? Now, you can argue that point whether or not that's true as uh, across the board or not, but the facts of the matter is my grandmother had it, my uh, d dad had it, um, I, a lot of people in my family had diabetes and I turned up to have diabetes. Now, the good news is in the genetic lottery, even though high blood pressure was in my family or is in the family, I did not come down with that. So let's get back to the point. I got lucky and got diabetes. So you can't catch diabetes. Now, as a result of that, so if, if you eat all these crazy foods, here's what happens. Let me make sure I make this plain. Since it is genetic, since it is a part of your genetic makeup, what happens is the way you eat, your diet and lack of exercise are contributors to the fact of your turn. It's like turning on a light switch. The more you sit, the more you're lethargic, the more you just sit down and chill, the more you eat crazy fatty, not fatty foods, I need to make that plain. Fatty foods has nothing to do with diabetes. The more you eat high carb foods, high in carbohydrates, high in sugar, I should say, that might make it easier to um, understand. High sugar foods, then what you do is you flip the switch and you basically turn this genetic flaw on in you. But you do not, if you don't, if you're not, if your family's not susceptible to that, you can't just turn it on. Now, listen, always go and check, check me out if you don't believe what I'm saying, go and check it out. But the facts of the matter is, you can't do that. So, since you can turn it on if it's in you, the key thing is how do you stop it from turning on? You need, especially, know your family history. Understand who your people are and what's in your bloodline. All right, if you got a bunch of people that have uh, having kidney problems and things like that, and somebody, you know, Uncle Juju uh, uh, can't see, probably he's a diabetic. And that's another, that's another video to understand how deep it is and how many people are infected, um, or I shouldn't say affected, but who have diabetes that has gone undetected. Um, and they haven't been, um, they don't know that they um, have this disease. And so they're um, exhibiting other, other things and things that are happening in their body until it's too late. So check it out make certain that you understand that what you eat you feed diabetes diabetes is something and in another video i talked about how we can starve diabetes you can stop feeding it by not eating so many carbohydrates high carbohydrate high sugary foods some of you guys got to have a bag of chips or three a day some of you, there's nothing wrong with some chips there's nothing wrong with doing that but do you understand how to eat chips do you understand how to eat pie do you understand how to eat cake do you understand how to eat pasta do you understand how to eat rice these are all high carb foods do you understand how to eat them uh, french fries from mcdonald's that we all love so dearly even though they did kind of mess up the, oh i'm sorry i'm getting off um getting off track for a minute but yeah do you understand how to eat these things so that you are not uh, causing harm to yourself to your body you're not feeding diabetes there are ways to do it so listen make sure you understand you cannot cannot please understand you cannot catch diabetes it's not a cold it's not a a, a a disease that is a bacteria it is a genetic problem within your body but you can turn it on and the way you do so we got to teach our kids well we got to teach our parents so that our parents will stop feeding their kids all of these sugary foods because many of us don't realize what's already in us genetically um and these and and just quiet as it's kept 
all these sugary foods are bad anyway. So let's let's cut down on the carbs. Let's let's help the next generation and let's educate ourselves. No, you cannot catch diabetes. All right, you can't go to the store and 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 go get over the counter medicine and and so and and kill. The, it, it, it ain't a cold. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Sudafed won't help, all right? So the best way to handle diabetes is all about diet and exercise. Diet and exercise. And I'm going to be talking about that in some future videos. Listen, if you have questions, I just want to encourage you. If you have any questions about diabetes, I'm diabetic and I'm living with diabetes. And I don't, I haven't been on medication since 2014. It is 2019 now. So you're talking five years without medication. Um, and if you want to know how I did it and how you could possibly do it, and notice I said possibly because not everybody can do it. I have to get in that to another video. But give me a shout out. Hit me in the comment section and let's, and I'll do a video on it and we'll discuss it. All right. You guys have a blessed day. Living with diabetes don't have to be hard, so go ahead and live.